everyone and welcome to this series of uh, circuit practice problems and here we want to solve uh, a question about uh, transient analysis in transient analysis we use the supply r dc and this will be first order uh, circuits meaning that you will have either a capacitor or an inductor if you have both, this is a second order uh, circuit, and the way we analyze it is totally different than the one we do it for first order uh, circuit. So let's see the question and what is required, and then to see what is the procedure that we are following. So here in this question, you are asked to find the output voltage, which is the voltage across the capacitor at 4T greater than zero. So at T greater equal to zero, the switch will be closed and it will stay for a long time. From the moment you close the switch over time, what will be the function of K v, uh, uh, v zero of T or V output of T? So the first thing we start with is we assume the answer. And the answer, because it's the first order, is in that format, K2 E minus T divided by tau. So that is the format of the answer. So here we have three unknowns. We have K1, we have K2, and we have tau. This is what we want to find. Then we will solve the circuit at three different conditions. At T less than zero, at T equal to zero, at T goes to infinity. And then we combine these solutions to find K1, K2, and then we will find tau as we will see in this question. So we start with at T less than zero meaning that the switch was open, not yet closed. Now we assume that the switch was at that position before it closed for long enough that the capacitor will be for a charge or the inductor will be for a charge. If the capacitor is for a charge, it becomes an open circuit. If the inductor is for a charge, it will be short circuit. And this will be our, our circuit here. The objective here, we wanna find the voltage across the capacitor at time equal to zero less uh, zero negative means before i close the switch and this is the same as the output voltage this is the parameter that i want to find okay here it happens that the parameter i want to find is the same as the voltage across the capacitor sometimes you might ask for something totally different it has nothing to do with the capacitor voltage. It could be, for example, the voltage here, V1, or it could be the current here, I2, and so on and so forth. But in that question, it is basically both are exactly the same. So we need, now we need to analyze the circuit. And here we see a dependent source is equal to 2VA, and this is VA. So we need first to find VA. This is a current source. So we'll have here 3 amp current. We'll go here. When it reach to this node, this is an open circuit. So the current here I is equal to zero. So the whole current will go here. So you can say that clearly that your VA is equal to four times three, which is equal to 12 volt. Now you can apply KVL. This is your two VA, which is equal to 24 volt. So apply KVL where to this loop. Summation of voltages equal to zero. So we will have start from this point. So minus 24 minus 24 plus V out at zero negative minus VA, which is equal to 12 equal to zero. It means that your V zero or V output at zero negative is equal to 60, 60 volt. So that is the first thing that you need to find. Second, or the third point, you solve for T is equal to zero. This is the moment you close the switch. So the switch now will be closed and this will be my circuit. The question is how to model the, the capacitor. The capacitor, the voltage of the capacitor at zero plus is actually equal to the voltage of the capacitor at zero negative. So the voltage doesn't change instantaneously in the capacitor. So it stays the same equal to 60 volt. Why? Because the capacitor hold the charge. So basically here, this will be is equal to 60 volt. Again, because my output 
that I want to find is the same as the voltage of the capacitor. That is the first thing that we want to find, which is the voltage at zero plus, which is equal to 60 volt. Then after that, we need to solve the circuit number four as T goes to infinity. Now, as T goes to infinity, the capacitor will go back to an open circuit. So the capacitor was an open circuit, a voltage supply at T equal to zero, and then become back an open circuit here. And this is your V zero as T goes to basically to infinity. So now this is a short circuit. So this current, the three amp will be circulating here. It will not do any good there, okay? And these two resistors, basically they are in, uh, in parallel because they are sharing this, you know, if, they, if I number the node, this is node one, one, one and this is two so they are between node one and two so these are two in parallel so i can redraw the circuit as such this is two in parallel so it will be four times four divided by four plus four this is two ohm and basically this is minus plus your va a short circuit here a voltage supply the dependent supply minus plus and then the open circuit plus minus V open circuit. As I said, the current here has nothing to do with the circuit now. The current will be circulating here. Now, the current in the circuit is equal to zero. This is 24 volt, this is 2 VA. So the current here, I, is equal to zero. If I equal to zero, then VA, VA is equal to zero. Then your 2VA supply will be also equal to zero. So the only voltage is basically the 24 volt. So from this, apply KVL minus 24 plus V open circuit equal to zero, which is the V naught. This is the V naught at infinity. Okay. Then your V naught at infinity is equal to 24 volt. So now I know V naught at infinity and I know V naught at zero. These are two very important things to find K1 and K2. What is left now is basically your R, R thevenin. Now how to find R thevenin? Basically we use this last circuit and we look between these two terminals. Now, because we have a dependent source, we cannot just simply uh, find the R thevenin by shutting down the sources, but we have basically to find V open circuit and I short circuit. So here I need to find V open circuit. Now, if you notice this circuit is exactly the same as this circuit. Okay, so without calculating anything, you can say that your V open circuit is basically is equal to 24 volt. Then we need to find uh, your I short circuit. This Now this will be your, your circuit here. Again, I will try to redraw the circuit the, the same way we did it in the previous. So this will be 2 ohm, okay, and this is minus plus. A short circuit here then I will have here the 24 supply we'll have the minus plus 2 V a and this is my I short circuit this is your I short circuit as I said this current source here has nothing to do with the circuit because it will keep circulating here okay so and this is your V VA here, so apply KVL. So KVL, you will have here uh, the current in that direction. So 2I short circuit minus 24 minus 2VA is equal to zero. But your VA is nothing but minus 2I short circuit. So we can basically uh, substitute here. Okay, so this is equation one, this is two. So substitute two in one. So basically we have two I short circuit minus two times minus two. So this is a plus four I short circuit equal to 24. 
and from this your i short circuit is equal to 4 amp and from this your r thevenin will equal to the v open circuit which is the 24 divided by 4 which is equal to 6 6 ohms and from this you can find your tau which is basically your rc your r is 6 and your capacitor is 2 so which is equal to 12 12 seconds okay. so now we found v at 0 plus v at infinity and finally the tau so let's go back to our formula here we know that v of t is equal to k1 plus k2 e minus t over tau so when you substitute v at infinity this will be equal to zero so your k1 is equal to basically equal to uh, 20 uh, 24 and v at v at zero you will have k1 plus k2 equal to 60 now we know that k1 is equal to 24 so k2 equal to 36 and then your solution your v0 of t equal to k1 24 plus k2 36 e minus t over over 12 and that is your your uh, output and that's what you want to uh, calculate